Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will show you how to add search option in the Bootstrap 5 select box by using vanilla JavaScript with PHP script and MySQL database. If you have looking for how to convert simple Bootstrap 5 select box to advanced select box with search box feature, so if there are large number of options. In the select box, then user can easily filter option by using search feature. So in this tutorial, we will make bootstrap 5 select box with search feature. Now let's start discussing this topic, so this is our testing database. And here we have one country's table, and under this table. We have already inserted country's name, so we will fetch data from this table and fill bootstrap 5 drop down with dynamic data and then after we will enable search feature under select box by using javascript library now this is our working directory and under this we have library folder and index.php file and under this library folder we have put bootstrap 5 library and the select library file first we have open index.php file and under this file here we can see that, we have already included bootstrap 5 library link, and the select library link. So now first we want to create, one drop down select box, so we have go to html code part. And here we have to write, select tag with name is equal to, select box. After this, we have to write class attribute is equal to form select and id attribute is equal to select box, now under this select box. First we want to create one option, so here we have to write. Option tag with name is equal to blank value, and in option text, we have to write select country. Now we want to fill this select box, with country's dynamic data, so we have go to php code. And here first we want to make database connection, so here we have to write. Dollar connect variable is equal to new PDO class with three argument. In first argument, we have to write MySQL host is equal to local host. And database name is equal to testing, and in second username argument. We have to write root, and in third password argument, we have to write blank. So this code will make database connection, and now below it, we have to write dollar query variable is equal to select country name from country's table and after this in this query we have to write order by country name in ascending order so this select query will fetch data from country's table now we want to execute this query so for this here we have to write dollar result variable is equal to dollar connect variable with query method and under this method we have to write dollar $query variable, so it will execute above query. And it will return query execution result, in the result format, which we have stored under dollar $result variable. Now we have go to select box, and here we want to fill this select box, with dynamic data. So for this, here we have to write, for each loop, and under condition. We have to write, dollar $result variable as, dollar $row variable. Under this loop, we have to write PHP echo statement, and after this, we have to write option tag with value as equal to dollar row country name variable. And in option text, we have to write dollar row country name variable. So on every loop interval, it will fill this select box with the dynamic data. Now friends, here on the browser, we can see that, when page has been load. Then here on web page, we can see that, one select box has been display on web page. And from this select box, we can select country name, but here we can see that. There are large number of country, under this select box, so now we want to add search feature, under this select box. So for this, here we have go to index.php file, and here we have to write select box element variable is equal to document.query selector method. 
and under this, we have to write, select box it's select box. And below this, we have to write, deselect method, and under this method. We have to write, select box element variable, so it will initialize deselect library. After this, we want to add search box, under drop down select box. So in the second argument, we can write, different option of this deselect library option, in array format. So here, we have to write, search option with true value. So this it will enable, search filter in drop down select box, so here our code is ready. So here we have to save this code, and check output in browser. Friends, first we have to refresh web page, and after refresh of web page. Here we can see that, select box has been display on the web page, for select country name. Now we have to click on select box, so here we can see that, search box has been appear in the select box. Now in the search text box, we have start type country name. So after type 1 2 character, it has filter select box option, and here, we can easily select option. Which we want to select, so by using search box in the drop down box, then user can easily select option. Without doing up and down scroll, and by simply type in search box, user can find respective option for their requirement. So in this video tutorial, we have used deselect javascript library, for add advanced featured like. Live search filter, in the native bootstrap 5 select boxes, so from this video tutorial. You can learn, how to add live search filter, in the bootstrap 5 select box. So if you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, then you can share your query or input. Under this video comment box, and then after we will reply on your comment. Lastly, thank you for watching this video tutorial, and do not forget to subscribe our channel.